Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey, and subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, the Cure Bowl is going to be happening a little over a week between the UTSA Roadrunners and the Troy Trojans. Who do I think is going to win this game? Let's break it down. Now, UTSA, they won Conference USA this year, and they are 11-2 and and 8-0 in the conference this season. And Jeff Trailer's done a great job as the head coach at UTSA. He's really built up the Roadrunner program from when they used to be a really struggling program, but they're much better now, and they've had a fantastic season just like they did last year. And in week one, they lost to Houston in overtime, 37-35, a three-overtime game, a thriller, but they just fell short. And then they bounced back and beat Army in overtime, 41-38, to and that was a good win. But then they lost at Texas, 41-20, to tough loss there. But they've won every single game since then. They beat Texas Southern, 52-24. to They won at Middle Tennessee State, 45-30. to They won against Western Kentucky, 31-28. to They beat FIU on the road, 30-10. to Then they beat North Texas, 31-27, to who they end up beating again later. Later, they won at UAB 44 to 38 in double overtime. They beat Louisiana Tech 51 to 7. They won at Rice 41 to 7. They beat UTEP 34 to 31. And then they beat North Texas again in the conference championship game 48 to 27. All great wins for UTSA. They've had a fantastic season, and Jeff Trailer has a really good team. And quarterback Frank Harris has had a fantastic season for the Roadrunners. He's a quarterback that his numbers actually almost matched the Hosman candidates, but unfortunately for him, he just plays on a team that they're not going to give him any recognition but this season he's 305 of 429 for 3,865 yards 71.1 percent completion percentage 31 touchdowns and seven interceptions and 588 rushing yards and nine touchdowns Frank Harris can really run the ball and he's a great dual threat quarterback I think he definitely has an NFL future potentially and he has played fantastic this season and he probably should have gotten more Heisman consideration because he's been great all season for UTSA, and that's why their offense is really good. Running back Kavorian Barnes, 713 yards and six touchdowns, and 103 receiving yards on nine receptions. He's been a solid running back all season for UTSA. He's definitely had to step up since Braden Barnes got hurt for UTSA, but he's definitely taken over as the lead back, and he's helped UTSA continue to have a decent running game, even though the focal point of the Roadrunners is their passing attack. And wide receiver Zachary Franklin's had a great season with 86 receptions, 1,100 yards, and 14 touchdowns and they have other receivers that are really good as well and on the defensive side of the ball linebacker Jabal Ligdon at 85 total tackles 40 solo tackles two forced fumbles and a fumble recovery safety Clifford Chapman at 68 total tackles 41 solo tackles and four interceptions and cornerback Corey Mayfield Jr. at 59 total tackles 46 solo tackles two sacks three interceptions and a forced fumble this season and UTSA has solid defensive players but their defense does lag behind their offense they don't have a terrible defense they've actually been pretty good on defense this season but their offense is better than their defense for sure. Now on the Troy side, they are 11 and 2 and 7 and 1 in the Sun Belt this season, and they won their conference championship game as well. And John Summerall's done a great job at Troy. It was his first season at head coach, and he's definitely made Troy a much better program now than they were before he got there. And they've had a fantastic season. And they lost at Ole Miss 28 to 10 in Week One. It's not a bad loss there, but unfortunately they couldn't beat an SEC team. They beat Alabama A&M 38 to 17, and then they lost at App State on a hail mary 32 to 28. And then they've won every single game since. They beat Marshall 16 to 7. That was a good win. Then they won at Western Kentucky 34 to 27. Then they beat Southern Miss 27 to 10. Then they beat Texas State 17 to 14. Then they won at South Alabama 10 to 6. So some close calls here. They beat Louisiana Lafayette 23 to 17 on the road. And they beat Army 10 to 9. So Troy was escaping in a lot of these wins, but a win is a win. They beat Louisiana Monroe 34 to 16. And then they beat Arkansas State on the road 48 to 19. And then they beat Coastal Carolina in the conference championship game 45 to 26. And Troy's offense has started to come to life toward the end of the season. That's really helped them out. And Troy has played well and found ways to win all season. And quarterback Gunnar Watson's had a pretty good season for Troy. He's 193 of 312 for 2,705 yards, 13 touchdowns and 10 interceptions, and two rushing touchdowns. He's not a dual threat, but he is a decent quarterback in the passing game. But Troy's focal point is definitely the run game. We're running back Kamani Vidal, 1,059 yards this season, nine touchdowns and 24 receptions for 133 yards. He's a fantastic running back, and he's definitely helped Troy's offense when at times their offense has struggled a bit this season. A wide receiver, Tess Johnson, at 52 receptions for 823 yards and four touchdowns this season. He's definitely Troy's best receiver, and it's definitely helped Gunnar Watson in the passing game this year. And on the defensive side of the ball, linebacker Carlton Marshall at 121 total tackles, 47 solo tackles, and 
interception and a forced fumble. Safety Craig Slocum Jr. is 96 total tackles and 33 solo tackles and interception, a forced fumble and a fumble recovery. And cornerback Reddy Stewart at 56 total tackles and 38 solo tackles, three interceptions and a touchdown for Troy. And Troy's defense is fantastic. This is where they they have made their mark this season. If Troy's defense wasn't as good as it was, Troy probably would not have had as good of a season if it wasn't for their defense because they've played well this season and because Troy's offense is pretty good, but their defense is definitely better than their offense. So who do I think is going to win the Cure Bowl? Both Troy and UTSA are conference champions. This is the only bowl game this season between two teams that are both conference champions. That's awesome. And both these teams are also ranked in the college football playoff top 25. So this game has a lot of intrigue. Both teams are fantastic. They're both 11-2. and They're having great seasons. Both head coaches are fantastic. And the strengths of both teams are opposite. UTSA is a much better offensive team than a defensive team. And Troy is a much better defensive team than an offensive team. But I do think UTSA's defense has started to play better toward the end of the season. I I think Troy's offense has started to play a little bit better toward the end of the season. So both teams to me are almost completely equal on paper. This game could go either way. I think Troy's been playing much better toward the end of the season, but UTSA's just been solid all season. I think UTSA's offense is going to play really well in this game. I think all their players are going to show up to play. Quarterback Frank Harris is going to have a fantastic game. And even though they're going up against a very, very solid Troy defense has played well all season, I think UTSA's offense is going to be a little bit better than Troy's defense. And I think UTSA is going to win the Cure Bowl 38-35 to over Troy. I think Troy can win this game if their defense is able to make UTSA turn the ball over a couple times and Troy is able to score off that. I think they can win this game and I think if Troy's offense keeps showing signs of life and Gunnar Watson has a solid game and they're able to run the football and keep the ball away from UTSA then they can win this game but if UTSA can get those quick strikes and get ahead 14 or 17 to nothing over Troy, Frank Harris doesn't have any turnovers and he plays fantastic all game like he has and UTSA is able to run the ball with ease like they were able to a lot of the times in Conference USA and maybe they can milk the clock a little bit toward the end of the game if they have a lead and as long as UTSA's defense does not play too bad and give Troy a lot of easy scores then I think UTSA's offense is going to be the difference and they're going to be able to score just a little bit more than Troy even though Troy's defense will play well in this game and I think the UTSA Roadrunners are going to beat the Troy Trojans in the Cure Bowl 38-35 to Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content like this video down below comment down below whether you think UTSA or Troy is going to win the Cure Bowl and why, and I will see you next time.